no, this can't be good. And nine JDI testing. Tom the Dilettante here, and I am a dumbass. But before you agree with me too vigorously, let's be honest with ourselves. We've all been dumbasses at some point in our lives. My latest installment just happens to be leaving the sunroof on my GX470 open during a torrential downpour, allowing rain to hit my FTM300 unimpeded. After disassembling it, drying it off, and letting it sit in a bag of desiccant for the past two weeks, today I'm going to install it again and see whether or not we can make it work. I didn't actually run power through the radio while it was wet. That was just for theatrics at the beginning of the video. If you ever hope to get an electronic device working again after it gets wet, never run power to it until it's had adequate time to thoroughly dry off. I love it when there's no screws missing at the end of a project. Alright, let's apply power and see if we can get this thing to work, or if we end up with a puff of smoke. Well, that's a good sign so far. Let's uh, try 14652 simplex to see if we can receive and the speaker works. And 9 JDI testing. Alright, that seems to work. Let's see if it works on transmit. And 9 JDI testing. Alright, that works. Let's see if we can hit a local repeater. N9 JDI testing. N9 JDI testing. Can I get a signal report, please? I get local. Can't seem to hit a repeater. Right now, I'm thinking maybe the problem's simply where I'm at. I'm parked in my driveway with my antenna sandwiched between the rear of my GX and an aluminum garage door. Maybe if I get out on the road and in the open a bit, I'll have better luck. N9 JDI testing. KC9RP and 9JDI, have you out there? Well, I'm about five miles from the station I'm trying to reach right now and uh, not have any, any success. I was able to reach them at about three miles, so something's wrong. Hopefully not with the radio, maybe with my antenna or the coax. So I'm going to go home and uh, plug a power meter, SWR meter into it, and see if I can't figure out what's going on here. Roger that, thank you. I've got my uh, MFJ power watt meter and SWR meter hooked up, so I just tested the power. I'm about to test the SWR. Stand by. And 9 JDI testing. Testing 1 and 2. SWR reading of 1.2. Everything looks good there. Good, Tom. All right. There you go. Casey, not our. Roger that, thank you. I'm going to flip over to the SARC repeater and see if I can't hit it in the current configuration. N9JDI, switching frequencies. N9JDI, testing. Yeah, you're hitting the Tom. You're not full flying it, though. I thought for sure you would be. Roger that. Uh, so I'm going to do one more test to confirm that it maybe was just a poor connection to uh, the radio from my antenna earlier. So uh, do please stand by. I'm going to disconnect the power meter and plug direct back to the antenna. Try again. Uh, N9JDI. N9JDI testing. All right, so that's a weird one. I added more components and my signal got better. And the only thing that seems to be different is um, I had run the FTM to a patch cable to the watt meter and then the watt meter to the antenna and I was able to hit the repeater from here. And connecting the, the antenna directly back to the FTM 300, no luck. 
So I think I'm gonna pull this back up and just double check that connection. I, I, I can't figure this one out. All right, let's try a process of elimination. I've taken out the elbow and plugged the antenna directly into the radio and I'm gonna give it a shot again. N9 JDI testing. Was that you over here on uh, Shopper? Hey, Hap. Yes, sir. How's my uh, signal this time around? A little better. A little better. Still got some, uh, uh, still has some bacon in the background. All right, so let's recap. Sunroof left open during rain. Rain got the radio wet. Radio has been drying for the last two weeks, and we're plugging it in today to see if it still works. Power and all features are good. Receive is good. Transmit is good, but range seems severely limited for some reason. Power and SWR check out, and oddly enough, the radio performs better when piped through a meter. Radio performs ad advertised when bypassing the 90 degree elbow needed to install the unit where it is, leading me to believe that the culprit is the elbow. New corrective action, replace elbow. All right, got the elbow replaced. Let's see if this works. See if I can at least get the repeater tone. And 9 jdi can I get a signal report, please? All right, that seems to have done the trick for the time being. Uh, still a little noisy, according to the signal report. I'm not that far, maybe about 15, 20 miles from this repeater, but the radio's not toast. So the rain did not kill it. I am so happy to report that. Uh, I lucked out, I guess, just letting it sit for a couple of weeks in some desiccant to dry off. Maybe it wasn't damaged too bad to begin with, but uh, the FTM 300, apparently it can get rained on with a sunroof open and function well. So until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante. Thank you for joining me today, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.